R-A-M, here we go. R-A-M, 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 here we go. It's the Ram, 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 Ram Show. Today, we are just going to discuss the current plight status <laughs> of television as we know it today. Where it was when we were young and where it is now. I'm wearing my Hillman College sweatshirt in Some honor. Some folks don't even know what Hillman is. That's the shade of Alex. If you don't know what Hillman is, that's, that's a problem. That's sad. That's but a generational gap. And I'm giving you a blank canvas. Cause he's still working on it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so basically, times have changed. Period. Yeah, times have changed, and it's a little disheartening. When I was growing up, I remember. I mean, there were lots of shows that I loved, but I remember Different World. I remember yes. Family Matters. I remember yes. my brother and me get into yeah. it. Get into it. But that was even on a kids' network, so of course that was family friendly. But you know, even the more mainstream shows, Martin, and even though Martin was, you he was know, a older. he was kind of pushing it, and he was very brash at times, but still, at the end of the day, there was a message, it was family oriented. Moesha. Moesha. Messages. Mo to the. Hey. E to the. Moesha. Mo to the. I don't see. I was loving the one. By the waterfall. By the waterfall. Back it's back. Me. It is. Now we yes. Now we yes. Yes. It's me. It's me. Sister, sister. Sister. I got my own mind. I do my own style and my own time. Okay. Sorry. This is, we're going down memory lane for real. Down memory lane. Thank you. Nostalgic. Anyway, but things have really changed because, you know, we went from family matters to basketball wives and, and I, you know, my wife and kids to, oops. Yeah, my wife and kids, now you have love and hip hop. Like, it's just, it's different. It's very different. It, I just don't see the same level of family-oriented entertainment for black people. Even taking it into, and you know Scandal is my beloved show, but everything is revolving around that now. There's nothing about the black family. Everything is, is very different. We're talking about black shows, but even when yeah. we had like, remember when there was Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. people got in an uproar. They're like, oh my God, there's only one, one black ranger. Mm -hmm. But it was still environmentally friendly. Captain Planet. Yeah. Environmentally friendly. Like, everything had a great message. Magic School Bus. That learned Ms. a lot. Fritz was my everything. Learned a lot. Totally. They're not the science guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wishbone. Yeah. Don't get me started. Reading Rainbow. Arthur. Ooh. Every day when you're walking down the street, hey, everybody that you meet has an original <laughs> point of view. Hey. My problem is. It's true. In all the older shows when we were growing up, there was always a good lesson in there somewhere. Even mm -hmm. if it had to be done after the scene was over. Like, remember they would have the whole cast sitting down like, gun violence is not yes, cool. Yes, always. You know, if you know someone who's in danger, you know, and call this number. It was always that type of deal. We don't have shows mm -hmm. like that anymore. anymore. It's either, like I said, reality TV or scandalous television. Honestly, I mean, that's it. And the reality TV is scandalous too, so it's just all around scandalous. It's all, it's, <laughs> what message are we like, sending, especially to the younger generation of today? Yeah. Because I'm not sure. It's like when I was when I was in middle school and even high school, I had positive examples on television. Mm -hmm. So positive that if I wasn't in school and chose to be ratchet, that was something that that was a personal decision that I made. These kids today don't have any other choice. Like that's all they're being fed. Mm -hmm. Unless their parents are saying, no, no, you will not watch that. But other, otherwise, that's all they're being fed. So being ratchet and, and I was about to say about it, about it. That is so 90s. But being like ratchet and, you know, all over the place isn't a choice. It is just the norm. It's innate now. Like you can't hide you from that from so long. Yeah. But it's like an overdose of it at all times. Like ratchet, 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 ratchet. And then Sunday, you might get Super Soul Sunday uh, for Oprah. But that's all you can really get. I mean, seriously, you get, name me one show that comes on that is family friendly. The only thing I know, well, Modern Family, even though sometimes right, I take but a little even, older. Okay, now that opens up another issue. Modern Family, doesn't that have the gay men on it? It does. Okay, 
So Modern Family is a show that's about the new age family. That's fine. Where are the black people though? Well, we have Kevin Hart who lives next door. It, that's what it said. And Sophia, because she's Spanish. What I'm saying is there is no show about a modern black family. Whether right. that be a family with two dads or whether that be a, a single parent home or just a, a real look at black family life in 2014. Where is that show? The only thing they had was the first family White House thing that came and left. Besides being Mary Jane taking care of all her nieces and nephews and cousins and out of wedlock children. Because she's trying to take care of her whole family. She's trying to be superwoman. That's it. Well. So somebody write it. So, so somebody write it and then cast us because clearly we gave you the idea. Actually, no, I'll write it. I don't have time because <laughs> <laughs> I'll write it because I don't have time to wait for people. Like, it's just, it's very disheartening. This is a PSA. We need positive messages, positive examples for family life, for Unratchet ba bacteria <laughs> behavior. Here's the thing in the 90s and the 80s, black television was at an all time high. Mm -hmm. And we have come crashing down to an all time low. The last really, really great show we had before this new surge of casting black women as your lead and no one else on the show is black. I'll get to that later. Um, the last real girlfriends just as a woman yeah. that was early 2000s and it was really good um but we now every show that features um black cast and specifically black women because as we speak to issues about black women because that's who we are every show featuring black women these days is one a reality show so you're not casting black female actresses who have worked to learn the craft and skill of acting that's first second there, you, it's reality shows and there are black women fighting each other and demeaning each other and going behind each other's backs and doing awful things, stealing business from one another. Just all this cattiness and foolishness that nobody has time for. And I can admit that it can be entertaining. It can I be. Personally, I don't watch it. That's just me. But I don't knock anyone who does. Hi, guilty pleasure. Sometimes I watch it. Yeah, I don't knock. I want to say current with the children. Oh. But I know that it can be entertaining and that's all well and good, but don't let it plant a seed in you that that's how you should be. Cause that's not true. We don't want you out in the streets fighting, some people's boyfriends, guys treating women like you don't care. So we rebuke that. Gotcha. While we're on the term of being positive, next week is a national holiday. Um, I just want to share that with the people right now to the Ramites. Oh, if I can make it. Someone here, has a, has a day of birth coming up. Um, hi, it's me. One year <coughs> older, yes, and she wears it. Well, ah, uh, my birthday is on January 30th. J30, baby, stand up. Super Bowl baby, actually. I'm, oh, I'm not done. I challenge you. Instead of getting me a gift, which I know everybody wants to do, for January the 30th, which is a national holiday, um, do something positive for someone else in my honor and the honor of everyone born on that day. It's just an amazing day. Carrie Washington was J31. So I'm you, sorry, you but we're talking about me. Do something positive. If that means paying for somebody behind you in the line. Yeah. If that, I mean, nice. if it doesn't have to come with money, smile at a stranger, say good morning. Do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do that's just so happy and fun filled because I'll be doing it all day. I do it all the time. That's beautiful. But I'll be doing that all day long. That's beautiful. To celebrate my day of birth. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next week. We have plenty to discuss. We plenty have holidays coming up. We have up. holidays. And you know what happens during a Ram Show holiday episode. So prepare your spirit. Bye, y'all. Toodles. Cause I finally heard you say, ha, come on. It's a different world. Then where you come from? Hey, hey girl, guess what? I'm guess it from, is from, that. From, yeah. ha. Who is the judge? The judge is God. Why is he God? Because he determined who wins or loses, not our opponent. I know my.
parents love me. Hey, hey, hey. Stand behind me, come what may. Oh, yes. Here we go. Five, six. Oh, wait, I need some water or something for this cream. Oh, because now you've made me parched. That double clap. <laughs> yes. I know it's coming. Yes. <laughs> go Nay Nay, go Big Lexi. Go Nay Nay, hey, go Big It's two different things. It's, that's Nay Nay, now go Big Lexi. Go Big Lexi, hey, go Big Lexi, hey, go. Oh, Nay Nay, yeah. You got your phone. Nay Nay to Lexi. Hey, Nay Nay. You gotta go right back into it. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, Jill. Happy birthday, Jill. 